Hello gods and goddesses, we are here in this beautiful spot known as Dreamy Draw, located like on Northern and off the 51. This place is very pretty, it's like nature everywhere. I'd love to come out here, I haven't been out here in a while, but it's just very pretty. I wanted to talk about a few things that are happening right now and are happening rampantly. Okay, first thing, humans are becoming very, very powerful in manifest manifesting. If you get a group of very knowledgeable um, group of humans, you get them together and you get them to think a certain way or you get them to point their energy in a certain way, whatever it's pointed at, that energy will react um, to whoever's sending it. So, a lot of people are seeing a lot of movement around the earth, like um, seismic activity and weather movement. Where you see this stuff happening, I would advise everyone to send healing waves to these stressed areas. Um, to me, Mother Earth is moving in new vibrations and she's the stress that's being released from her is her trying to move upwards in consciousness. And the humans blindly are keeping her at a low vibration because of our consciousness. So it's very important that we need to basically come basically come together and start living as one. I mean, everybody keeps saying that, one, one. Well, it is truth. I'm not talking about one world government. I'm talking about treating everybody with respect and love. So, just that energy alone, like I don't care what anybody says, love over, love over conquers everything. It's just, it's just obvious. So if anybody's out there trying to push you in that direction where love is not the key or love is not the answer, just remove yourself and give them love from afar. Their thought patterns can destruct your um, your life patterns. So uh, I wanted to talk about that. And then obviously the media, it's all designed to keep you away. In my personal opinion, any surface tech, any technology that you see, the phones, the TVs, anything, to me personally, that's, that's the forbidden tech. We're not supposed to be using this tech. To me, it pulls us away from nature. Natural human tech with nature tech is where we need to go. Being able to um, use nature, not only past um, in the past years of using remedies or anything in that nature, just using the energy of nature in order to communicate, in order to um, go out into the bush and call upon an animal to be sacrificed, whether you want to eat it or what. I mean, we need to go back to that, where we're able to communicate um, psychically and be able to talk with nature and actually be able to talk to everything, the wind, the rocks, everything. We need to go back to that. In my personal opinion, this technology, the surface tech, has totally pulled us away. Um, humans are becoming great manifestors. Watch what you pay attention to. Stay away from death energy on film. You're watching somebody get killed. You're watching all these stupid cops killing people. What you don't understand is that you're willingly opening yourself up to these dark energies, okay? And that gives them a playground to play in. Now remember, they cannot violate your free will, but they can trick the human spirit and the human mind into accepting it into their reality. So that gives them another another way of playing game with their consciousness, okay? Now, oh, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. CERN and HARP. CERN and HARP technology only can only exist with the human consciousness. We need to pull our consciousness away from these destructive energies and these destructive destructive um, devices that are used to either move um, seismic activity or weather manipulations. Just that alone. Just stay away from the TV. The TV is designed to pull you away from nature. Um, if I were you, I would get out into nature and replant your feet as much as possible because, I mean, this is the only way you'll be able to get in touch with source, with nature, because that's who you truly are. We are nature. That's our true essence. That's our true being. So, whatever it is, that dark force or whatever it is, people are saying it's the dark forces, people are saying that it's probably innerly, it's probably the human's old past karmic life and everything is being brought to the surface. A lot of the negativity that you see in this physicality is actually um, past karmic life being brought to the surface so that we can clean it. That's, what, that's one of the things I was thinking about. It's either or. Either way, we need to get shit done. Either way, we need to cleanse our vibration and to and to be awake and aware of what's really happening on Earth. Human beings are extremely strong and very powerful. So don't ever let somebody tell you that you're weak. Don't ever let somebody tell you that you're not on the right track when you know you are, okay? Um, I keep hearing that a lot of people are getting sleep paralysis or sleep, yeah, sleep paralysis. 
Again, this is a direct attack from these lower astral beings. Remember, you watched negative movies, horror films, and all that shit. You're willingly opening your body to these energies, and again, when you're willingly opening yourself, like, hey, I'm gonna go watch this scary movie because it's gonna scare me, but hey, it's just a movie, I don't care about it. But if you think about it energetically wise, this movie is like telling you, look, we have some demonic shit we're about to show you. So if you want to watch it, you can watch it. You know, so it's, it, it's pointless to me. So I would stay away from all, anything that has to do with death energy, murder, or mixing death energy with sex energy. That's like the most demonic thing you can think of. So we don't vibrate in that energy. You know, when we do, our bodies break down. Or again, unless you were coerced at a young age or you were damaged at a young age to where you can't feel that type of love. I know a lot of people are trying to do good right now and they don't see the, the benefits of what's happening. You have to understand that it's infinity. So whatever you get done here right now, you will see later on in life. You'll see it. You'll see what you have done here on earth. It will carry. Remember, because it's infinity. 